The hospitals are adapting to the rise in COVID and making some tough decisions. My colleague Andrew Huransky joins us now live at Metro Health Medical Center to explain what's going on, Drew. Well, Lena, I can tell you that hospitalizations around the country are reaching record high also here at home, and that is prompting systems to make some changes. And that is why we are standing in front of the Metro Health here tonight, where this weekend they announced that the following locations will be closed through the end of the year. Brooklyn, Brunswick, Lynnhurst, Medina, Rocky River State Road, and behavioral health here at the main campus, both adult and child, to consolidate staffing as the U.S. sees the most COVID hospitalization since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, since September 1st, hospitalizations in the U.S. have doubled and are now nearing 100,000, with fears that the Thanksgiving holiday only fueled the surge. But there may be one silver lining, fewer f flu cases, fewer cases of the flu. And we might even be able to thank COVID in a way for that. Anything that we're doing for COVID is going to help with the flu. Um, because, again, they're both uh, a, a majority of the way COVID is spread. And the way that we know the flu is spread is by droplets. So distancing, washing your hands, and wearing a mask are all going to be really great ways to help you not get COVID and not get the flu. And she stresses, if you have not yet, it is still important to get the flu vaccine. Now, of course, Metro Health is not the only system that is making changes. Tonight at 11, we'll tell you about some of the others, including what they're doing over at the Cleveland Clinic as well as UH. Lena? All right, looking forward to that. Thanks,